Hello, everybody. Good evening. And welcome, welcome to D Crown. Welcome. And I am D Crown's and main host for tonight. My name is Emman Feliciano. Of course, I am one of the M E N, and I'm the letter E in the M E N. And of course, tonight is a very special episode. Um, this is actually going to be our first time to do this. We have a back to back, a two part episode tonight. Yes. You know, because it's not enough to have just one episode tonight and, and, and just one set of queens. But it's, you know, it, we're overwhelmed because we have a theme tonight. Our theme is about endings and beginnings beyond the crown. So we have invited the perfect hosts for tonight. And of course, we are live on three platforms. We are live on Facebook, the D Crown Facebook page on MECDC TV and on Kumu Social TV. And in a while, yes, we will be live also on Kumu Social TV. Kumu's main one of Kumu's main channels and mamaya maraming makakapanood sa atin and of course maraming makakapanood and you you have a chance to interact with our guests for tonight so whether you are a pageant fanatic whether you follow um, beauty pageants or whether you just want to learn real life lessons from beauty pageant queens and their journey this show is for you. And of course, later on, if you also want to play some games and win some prizes, this is also the show for you. Yan. Okay, so now we are onboarding on Kumu Social TV. There you go. We are now live on Kumu Social TV as well. Thank you very much to our Kumu producers. And there you go. Oh, diba? Masaya na sila sa backstage. Nakikita ko yung mga ngiti nila. Sabi nila, sa wakas. Ayan, there you go. Now, let us introduce, let me introduce to you the rest of the MEN of the Crown. We have, of course, our, he's actually our chief correspondent, but he's also the executive producer of this episode because he made all of this possible. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ay, hindi pa pala. Si M muna tayo. Ang ating editor-in-chief, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Higatchalian. O, oh, di ba? Nalito ako. Hello, Marky. Nakamute ka, Marky. Hello, good evening. Yes, I am Marky Higatchalian. Just call me Marky and I'm the letter M in the M-E-N of M-E-C. That's true. Nakalimutan mo na ako porque wala akong contribution. Sandali lang. Ilapit mo yung mic. Ilapit mo yung mic sa buong... Sa... Ayan. Ayan, so nakalimutan Ayan. mo ko porque wala akong contribution tonight. <laughs> Anong wala kang contribution tonight? Hindi. Nagbigay ka ng photo. <laughs> Nagbigay ka ng isang photo. Yeah, yeah, and I'm actually no very English. excited. I'm very excited tonight kasi hindi tayo na contento sa isang queen na oh, oh. from Miss Earth. Kumuha pa tayo ng mga queens from Miss World Philippines. Exciting, That right? That is very, very exciting. And to share the excitement with us, ayan na, ito na totoo na to. Our chief correspondent and our um, D Crown producer for this show, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, the N of M E N, Noy Sabilano. Hi, everyone. Good evening, Paul. Ano sa ating mga komunizens? Magagandang gabi yes. sa ating lahat. Akala ko nakalimutan na ni Emma kung paano mag-spell at ang English alphabet. <laughs> hindi na niya alam kung ano ang Naging e M, F hindi pala men. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero of course, maraming salamat po sa ating uh, mga viewers for tonight. Lalong lalo sa ating komunizens for tuning yes. in. And now we're officially on Kumu Social TV. Napakarami siguradong nakaabang sa ating episode sure. for tonight. Because oh, oh. tama si Emma dahil siksik lig lig at umaapo ang ating episode for tonight tama that ba Emma right. that is true and speaking of uh, nakaabang ayan syempre let's uh, give a shout out um, to the people who are um, standing by with us right now ayan for example we have Ralph of course ayan ayan there you go so ayan nakikwento si Ralph he was asked to be a photographer for a pageant in Orlando Florida Ralph is our ayan Ralph is our U.S. correspondent. Both Hi, Ralph. Yes. Good morning. Ralph is our U.S. correspondent. Ralph Sambat. Good morning, Mark Noy, eminent ladies. Yan. Because uh, in Orlando, it's morning right now. Hello, hello, Ralph. And of course, one of the reasons why we have our queens with us tonight 
Tito Dave Ocampo is with, ha, with us tonight. Tito Dave, hello. Good evening. And salamat, Dave, sa jacket. Course, correct. <laughs> sa kanya to. <laughs> <laughs> sa kanya ba yan? Pumunta yes. rin tayo sa Kumu. Um, we have um, our Kumunizens and of course the people, our friends on Kumu. We have the BP Liwag, of course, one of the reasons why we're here on Kumu Social TV. BP Thank Liwag, Polly. Hello, hello, Polly. And of course, we have Palabas tayo. We have Ate Glo. Hi, Ate Glo. Thank you for the uh, virtual gifts, Ate Glo. And thank you. Oh, ayan, may paparagon si Ate Glo. And then Jean Kyle. Um, thank you very much for being here. Dada, who was uh, who was here during our first attempt to go live, was uh, he was already here. So maraming maraming salamat for being here. And of course, sa mga nandito po sa Kumu, um, aside from following Kumu Social TV, please do not forget to follow Emma and Mega and of course to follow all our guests, our co-hosts, and our queen tonight. Yeah, and so thank you, thank you very much. And speaking of Queens. It's time for us to introduce our very, very special guests. Yan. Unahin na natin. Ayan. Ang, uh, dalawa si, si, pareho silang um, nag-end ng kanilang pageant journey, ng isang pageant journey just recently. <coughs> yes. And in a just recently concluded at, and much um, hyped and talked about pageant, hindi ba? But they are with us right now to talk about their journey, their experience, their memories and kung ano yung babaunin nila in the future, in their next chapter, either in pageantry or in life. So first, let's welcome our Miss World Philippines first princess, Rihanna Pangindian. Hi! Yay! Hello, Rihanna! Hi, Hello! Hi, Hi, Mark! Hello. Hi, Rihanna! Hello. Thank you so much for being here with us. You looking so beautiful. Si Rihanna po galing pa po yan ng isang event. Oh, wow. Pero um, she's here with us right now and still looking so beautiful. Thank you Thank very you. much. And now, from our Miss World Philippines First Princess, let us go to one of our uh, queens also from Miss World Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tourism Philippines, Trisha Martinez. Hi, mabuhay! Good evening! Ayan, good evening, good evening din sa'yo. Ayan. So now, yes, these are our two very special guests for the first part of our show. The Miss World, our two of our Miss World PH Queens. And of course, uh, ano of course? Of course. Of course. Natin, with an SH. Na natin, oh, with an SH. <laughs> hindi na natin to patatagalin. Let's begin our night with, of course, our first segment. Ayan. Of course, hinandaan, kanina pa ako nag of course, no? Hinandaghanda tayo ng mga very special segments for our ladies and for you to enjoy. And, of course, let's begin with our first segment. We call this the Slam Book Fast Off. Wow! <laughs> what is the Slam Book Fast Talk, guys. Ayan. Ang slam book, alam naman natin kung ano ang slam book. Let's warm up our beauties and our ladies with this uh, fast talk game. I will be flashing some categories um, that you would normally see in slam books na baka in one way or another na fill out nyo na when you were in uh, elementary or high school or kahit college, di ba? So we will flash them and our Queen Trisha and uh, um, Rihanna We'll just give them their short answers. Yeah. Short answers to. Na medyo, pwedeng walang explanation or one or two sentences explanation. All right? Yes. So each category will be answered by both our queens. Okay? Yakit lang muna natin sila dito. Okay. Let's begin with Rihanna. Rihanna, go muna. Okay. okay. Yes, Rihanna. What is your favorite food? Favorite food? No. Madame, but burgers and sushi would be my top two. <laughs> oh, burgers. There you go. Yan, yan. Favorite food ni Rihanna. Oh, na, yan. Now, let's go to Trisha. Favorite food, Trisha? Trisha? Mm, my favorite food would be kare-kare. Uy, kare -kare. Lalo, especially wow. kapag luto ng nanay ko. I'm sure Naman. nanonood yung nanay ko. Hi, Nay. Hello po, Nay. Hello. Nothing beats. <laughs> Nothing beats kare-kare. Noni, thank you very much for the halo-halo. 
And now, <laughs> let's go to our next category. Yeah. Our next category is favorite caller. This time, unay naman natin si Trisha. Favorite caller, Trisha. Of course, my favorite caller is Purple Violet. Oh, the family. Uh, there you uh, go. Yeah. She's a purple girl. How about Rihanna? What is your favorite color? Oh, favorite color. For me, it changes every season. <laughs> but uh-huh. So I guess for now, my favorite color is color blue. Blue, same blue. here. Yes, color blue, color blue. There you go. Now, let's go to our next category, our next slam book category. How about your favorite song? Is there any... Oh. You don't have to sing it. Hindi namin kayo pakakantahin. <laughs> Just tell us the title of your favorite song. Rihanna, let's go with you first. Oh my goodness. For me, um, at the moment, I'm really liking the new song of Adele. Go easy. Oh, easy. Yes. Me. So I've been that replaying that. Sabarang, exactly. <laughs> Nakaka-addict. <laughs> Yeah, and then the bosses of Adele. Sobra. Every time Adele releases a new song, lagging, right. it's always on repeat on our playlists. No, how about you, True. Trisha? What is your favorite song? Lately, uh, medyo ano ko, oldie oldie yung mga mga retro songs yung pinapatugtog ko. So ngayon ang favorite song ko is Sweet Baby by Stanley Clark. Ooh, <laughs> that's very nice. Old soul, ang. Uh, <laughs> Si Trisha, thank you very much for that. Now let's go to our next category. Trisha, ikaw naman na unang sumagot. <laughs> Who was your oh first my... crush? Slam book, di ba? Sobrang high school. Oh, Grabe. Okay, this is the high school slam book category. Trisha, <laughs> who was your first crush? <laughs> <laughs> May grabe na pressure ako. Sino first crush ko? Hmm. Ano, siguro, sige, celebrity first crush ko si, uh-huh. si ano, si John Lloyd Cruz, si JLC. Uh-huh. Oh, JLC. Oh, safe. Okay. Yan. Celebrity <laughs> ang naging first crush ni Trisha. Na, na, nakita ko tawang-tawa si ano si Rihanna doon sa tanong natin. <laughs> Ikaw naman ang sasagot ngayon, Rihanna. <laughs> Sino ka yun? <laughs> okay, so I guess first crush ko. Medyo late bloomer ako. Pero ang first crush ko, naalala ko talaga noon, si John Cena ng WWE. So may hindi naman ang kuyo kung manawa ng wrestling before. And then, siya, for some reason, siya pumasok sa isip ko. Si John Cena. <laughs> oh, John Cena Pareho and John. Zach. Isang John Lloyd at isang John Cena. John oh, di ba? Oh. Yan ang mga crush ni Nariana at Trisha. Oh, another <laughs> slam book entry. Do you believe in destiny? Yes or no lang. Rihanna, how about you? Um, do I believe in destiny? Yes, I would say. Meron yes. para oh. sa'yo. Totoo. Hindi ba? Kung merong para right. sa'yo. I- how about Trisha? Do you believe in destiny? Of course, I believe in destiny. Talagang yes. sobra, lagi. Um, whatever happens in my life, talagang feeling ko des- 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 destined siya to happen. There you go. Kayo naman, kayo naman dyan mga, ano, uh, mga, cities, mga netizens and communizens. Do you believe in destiny? And press one if you believe in destiny. <laughs> right there. Thank you very much, uh, Missy, Missy Michi. Yeah, hello, Missy Michi. Thank you so much. Another slam book question. Mm-hmm. What is your happiest moment? Yeah, and Trisha, ikaw. Ano yung recently yung nare-recall mo na happiest moment? Recently, my happiest moment... Ano mo yun? So, yung feeling na I'm a dog lover kasi. Yung kanina, yes. nung pag-uwi ko sa bahay, yung parang sinalubong agad ako ng tatlo kong tatlo kong aso. Parang, oh parang na, na wala agad yung pagod ko. Ayun yung happiest moment ko. Recently. Oh, that's so, so nice. Thank that's you. so nice. Diba? Yung Beautiful, happy moment. Lang, diba? Yung small so, things na. True, small yeah. things are, small things matter, diba? How about you, Rihanna? What could you say would be your um, happiest moment? Yeah, for me, my happiest moments are usually really my time with my family and my friends. Mm-hmm. Um, Nandun na ngayon, feeling ko nung pandemic, talagang sobrang na-appreciate ko. Kahit a few minutes, a few seconds lang to talk to them, catch up, know how they are. For me, I feel so full when I get to hear from them and just somehow be there for them. Kasi mahirap na ngayon, di ba? Kaya... Ayun, ganun din. Pag-uwi ko, for some reason ako, siguro masyado akong 
focus sa pageant, nakalimutan kong may aso ako eh. Kaya pag-uwi ko, <laughs> kaya masaya naman ako nung nakita ko sila. Pero it was really going home to my parents and just somehow sharing to them my whole experience and exchanging how they feel about it and all those, you know, all those um, moments with them that for me is really the happiest and the, the things that I really treasure. There you go. Oh, no man. Champion. Nothing beats <laughs> being with our family. So whether it's your, um, you know, a moment with your pet or a moment with your family, you know, mm-hmm. these are happy moments that we should treasure. Ayan. Ah, si ano pala ito? Si Michelle Constantino. Si Missy Michi pala sa Kumu ay si Michelle Constantino ng Pageant Hub. Nasa Hi, Kumu May. Social TV na rin Hi, Hello, Michelle. Hi. There you go. Ayan. Yeah. So our... The Crown followers are also watching us on Kumu right now. Thank you very much. Aba, hindi pa tayo tapos. Meron pang isa. What, is, okay. what do you think is your greatest achievement so far? This is second to the last. How about you, Rihanna? Well, for me, I guess it's kind of obvious. For me, my greatest achievement so far is really winning first princess um, in Miss yes. World. Hindi ko muna ikakanta siguro lahat because you might go through it, but... For everyone, for who di palo ng lahat, this is my third pageant. This is my third national pageant. So mm-hmm. in the past two pageants, I've been um, ending up sa top 15. So for me, malaking bagay na rin po sa akin ng umabot ng first princess at makasama ang mga queens natin. Ito talaga um, makapag-support sa kanila. And of course, also seeing how my hard work is also has also paid off. Um, so for me, yung greatest achievement ko right now. That's right. We saw how hard you worked, diba? Even you. even during your other pageants, we saw how hard you worked. So this and whatever is going to come, you deserve all of them. So congratulations on that. Thank you. How about you, Trisha? Kung si Rihanna ay third <laughs> pageant na, alam namin this is your first pageant. You know? Pero ito ba yung na consider mo na greatest achievement mo so far? Um, more than just the title, more than just the crown, I think um, the greatest uh, the greatest achievement of mine is conquering my fears talaga. And mm-hmm. yung pag-conquer ko ng fears, I think yung title, yung Mysteries in Philippines, yung naging reward ko. So, ayan, that's my greatest achievement so far. Yes, the, that's very good. Yeah. Sabi nga ni Palabas Tayo on Kumu. Hello, Paul, Palabas Tayo. Hard work, 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 work. Sabi niyang gano. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ngayon, last na. Hindi to pwedeng maging slam book kung walang motto in life. Yan. So what is your motto in life, sabi ni slam book? Um, Trisha. My motto in life is always to trust the process. Ayun nice. yung ayun yung motto, ayun yung quote na lagi kong pinangahawakan, not just in pageantry but in my life generally, like in my in, den- in dentistry school na parang always trust the p- process. Parang sometimes mahirap talaga, it's always part of it, but I have learned to appreciate and I have learned to enjoy the process. Parang minsan nga nasad nga ako eh nung coronation night na namin. Sabi ko, oh, tapos na. Parang wala na yung gigising ka ng maaga. Matatapos yung rehearsals ng gabi. Tapos training ka. Ngayon, namimiss ko na yung mga, ano, yung mga ganong moments. Kahit nakakapagod siya. Ayun na. Ayun. <laughs> there you go. Siyempre, baka ano, malay mo, ano, in the near future, <coughs> You will you will experience those moments again, hindi ba? Tingnan natin. How about you, Rihanna? Yeah. Anong sagot mo sa slam book question na to? Yeah. What is your motto in life? Yeah. The hardest question sa mga slam books, no? True. <laughs> Never for me. Siguro, um, not just a motto but also a verse. But for the motto life, I would say do everything with love. And it kind of backs up with the verse that says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And so, I, for me, growing up, that's really something that I have been holding on to and have been applying because I feel like when I do things out of love and for love, things will really just be okay no matter what the situation is, you know, or no matter how hard or difficult it is. Because if you're motivated with love, hindi mo na mapapansin yun. Hindi mo mararamdaman yung pagod because you're doing it for love. That is true. Very well spoken. <laughs> true. Spoken like a true queen and spoken like oh. the queen that you are. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Trisha. And uh, yeah, and Trisha and Rihanna for that. And that was our first segment, which we call our Slam Book Fast Talk. 
Yeah. yeah. So we got to know a little bit about our dear queens, you know. But of course, this show, this episode, is not just about these little things about them. But this is about them sharing to us, you know, their learnings. Their learnings beyond the crown. And we will be able to do that with our next segment. Yeah, hindi ba? Um, and that is our In Focus. We call this segment In Focus. Yes. Saan na ba tayo? Lakas na ka showbiz eh, no? In Focus. <laughs> oh, diba? Very showbiz. Yes. In Focus. Pupunta na po tayo sa ating next segment, ang ating In Focus. <laughs> Yes, parang tatawagin ko ba si Tita Christy? Ay, hindi pa. Okay. So what this time, uh, oh, this time, I will uh, give the floor to Marky and Noy to interview our queens. Unahin na natin, siyempre. Yes, who will be our first queen um, for the In Focus? Noy, Marky? Yes, siyempre si um, First Princess Muna since first, First Princess si Rihanna Muna. And I think yes. Marky will take over for Rihanna's interview. Tama ba, Marky? Yes. Hello, Rihanna. Good evening. Hi, Marky. Good evening. All right. You know what? I am very interested about your story because you already mentioned it in the beginning of the show that uh, you already joined uh, three national pageants. How right. different is your experience with Miss World Philippines? Siguro yun mo na gusto ko malaman. Miss World Philippines okay. versus the previous pageants that you joined. How was right it? Before. Right. Um, for me, for Marky, I feel like when I joined Miss, U- Miss World Philippines, I was already in that state or situation wherein I feel like I know myself more I know myself better. So I feel more mm-hmm. confident with my skills, with even my looks, you know. So I feel like I was able to just really enjoy the whole pageant, the whole journey mm-hmm. with my sisters compared to my past experiences wherein I was really still trying to navigate things through in pageantry because i really started in the pageant scene without knowing much about how to walk how to put on my uh-huh. makeup how to even dress up you know so i had to go through so many adjustments at the start at the beginning of my journey so i feel like it's the culmination of all the things that i've learned in the past when i joined miss world philippines and really just applying all those lessons that i got from my past two national pageants so i was able to just really enjoy and yeah, give my best during that night. And this is now the fruit of your best. You have, mm. you actually became first princess of Miss World right. Philippines. So how does that feel to you after <laughs> three national pageants? Now I'm first princess. I know. And I'm yeah, um, it took me some time to actually let it sink in, talaga, Sir Marky. Parang kahit the following, eh, well, nung pagkatawag sa akin, I, I, even the former, but I'm really grateful na ako. Like, I'm masaya ako kasi alam kong malaking bagay din yun. At malaking responsibility that and actually a maging first princess. Um, I feel like sometimes we kind of think na, you know, fair tire. Well, we are really our fair tire. But I feel like, um, I also see the, the responsibility of being a first princess that anytime dapat ready ka or anytime talaga mm-hmm. dapat siyempre supportado ka sa queens. Yung natin, hindi ka lang, mm-hmm. hindi ka lang first runner up, hindi lang yun. Alam mo yun? Mm-hmm. Parang it's really, mm-hmm. I feel like, um, yeah, na, na, nakita ko kagad yung, yung value at yung responsibility ng first princess. Kaya, yun yung, nung yun yung binigay sa akin, tanggap ko, sabi ko, well, thank you, kasi alam ko, nilagay mo ko dito, at alam ko, hinadamo ko, sa para sa kung ano mang mangyari. I don't know what, you know, of course, we don't want to think negatively or wish any ill to anybody, right? But uh-huh. we don't know. So I feel like, um, yeah, there's a reason for everything. So my purpose, kung bakit ako first princess, hindi ko pa, nakikita yun, hindi ko pa alam kung anong, anong pwede, kong mang, pwede mangyari or pwede kong gawin. But yeah, I really am grateful for where I am and I really just appreciate every moment of it. And just being able to be that somehow, um, yeah, like a supporter, even an ate, let's say for, for Trisha or for for uh-huh. Tati, you know, and just share to uh-huh. them also how, you know, my experiences in pageantry, I feel like malaking bagay rin yun para sa akin, na matulungan ko sila. So, uh-huh. I'm very grateful. Wow, you know what, Rihanna, I really love your mindset. It's very positive, and I love that you <coughs> value your role as first princess. Mm-hmm. It's actually important yun eh. So, and kitang-kita naman yun sa'yo. Marami salamat for that, but I'd like to ask, because, uh, you mm-hmm. know what, when we saw, Miss, when we were following Miss World Philippines, and we felt, mm-hmm. as, as, a, as an observer, as a fan, 
feeling namin it was a marathon. Literal na marathon. Because ang haba talaga ng journey ng lahat ng mga girls. So siguro gusto kong malaman naman, ano naman yung mga important lessons na natutunan mo as you went through the entire process of joining Miss World Philippines from the from the from the um, audition to the right. pageant activities. Tapos naging right. detake ng mahabang time para mag mm-hmm. yung finals night. And you, of right. course, rehearsals. How was it? What, what was your major lesson or lessons na natutunan right. mo? I see. For for me, Sir Marky, the major lesson really was for me to stay rooted. Stay rooted to who I am. Stay connected to who I am and to who brought me where I am. And that, for me, that is really God. So, mm-hmm. it was a process. It was a journey of really just spending time with him and asking him, Lord, okay, ano next? Ano may nyari? Kasi hindi natin alam, diba? And it, for me, it was mm-hmm. really a moment of, I guess, a moment of somehow surrender. Um, mm-hmm. Like what I said, I already kind of learned from the past of how I can improve, you know. So it's just a moment of applying all those and really trusting him Nah, he has brought me where I am today. And so he will bring me through it, whatever happens. So even during those postponements, even during those waiting time, waiting game, but um, okay, this is an opportunity for me also to stop pause. Because of course, it's a lot of people who are in the Red Hotel, we are still in the Red Hotel. Like what you were saying, it's a lot of time for our hotel. So it's a lot of fun for me. Medyo thankful ako actually no na postpone siya. Although nakakapagod yung mag-antay at hindi mo alam ano mangyayari next. Pero medyo uh-huh. thankful ako kasi nakapag-post kami kahit pa paano. Mm. We were able to just re- recalibrate our minds, I guess. And just have that moment of going back to our why. Going back to our purpose. And I feel like that is very important. In joining Miss World Philippines or joining any national pageant and even doing anything in life. It's always so important that we know our why and the purpose of why we do things. So for me, that wow, is my major yeah. lesson. Wow, well said. I like that you have learned to really stay true to your core. Right. To uh-huh. really get in touch to who you are. I think that's the reason right. why you also enjoyed your journey, Rihanna. Maraming salamat. Siguro last uh-huh. ano ko, question ko would be, I know that it's over now. Technically, the pageant is over. But yeah. anong event ang mamimiss mo? At, at sino, yeah, sino ang mga mamimiss mo? So, so, now that it's over. I know. Yeah. Oh, wow. Madame, actually, halos na naiintindihan ko sa Trisha na minsan may mga araw ko na sarapin mo ko na sila. Like, especially when I see them on social media. That's the, like, uh-huh. for now, that's the only way we get to keep in touch with my roommates, of course. I miss sila Julie. I miss sila Ganyal. Kasi kami, kami kami, like, sila Trisha, actually, sila Ann Palmares. Kami kami uh-huh. yung makakasama usually sa room. Kakain lang kami. You know, uh-huh. and then mag mag check ako kung ka mare ganyan mag mag usap lang kami during our break times or yeah if if anyone needs a dress if anyone needs a, a earring magano like tulungan siya talaga so I feel like those moments ang nanilis talaga and not just them like the whole group actually even sila Mama Ru shout out to Mama Ru I believe he's uh-huh. also watching us right now <laughs> oh, hey, Mama Ru so, yun yung buong buong organization mm-hmm. at lahat ng sisters ko talagang Nanimiss ko sila. Yung mga sponsors visit namin, isa, isa rin yung sa mga nanimiss ko. Kasi, yeah, we just get to somehow not be in a very competitive mode, but still, uh, you know, <laughs> looking good, still enjoying the process or enjoying each other's company. So, yeah, madami actually nakakamiss. Pati maglakad sa stage, nakakamiss. Pero medyo nakakapagod yun. So, dun tayo sa mga chill mode. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Alam mo, bali sa, base sa kwento mo talaga, pageantry is really about sisterhood, right? And building mm. those lifelong memories, lifelong friendships as well. So, maraming maraming salamat, Rihanna. Hindi pa to, we're not yet done, eh. We'll still okay. just want to get to know you more, okay. but we have to just probably take a pause for just a few moments. But before I right. turn it over to our be- next beautiful guest, uh, Noy, do you have any follow-ups for Rihanna? Yes, actually, para lang to segue, no? Rihanna, uh-huh. my question for you right now is, first, congratulations on First Princess. Again, it's a really great um, um accomplishment on your end. My question right okay. now is... For example, if there is one thing that you can rewind over and over again, like one moment lang sa Miss World Philippines, ano kaya yun and why? Oh wow, rewind moment by moment. Um, kini ko during the coronation night. I really, the moment 
I was doing my Q&A. So the ironic thing kasi, <laughs> for like my past two Padre journeys, I dread Q&A. Takot na takot ako sa Q&A talaga. So, wow! So, hindi ko talaga yung nagiging downfall ko noon. Kasi, either sobrang kabado ako or nag-overthink ako. So, naubos oras ko, no? So, ayun, for me, masaya ako nung, nung Miss Real Philippines, nung coronation night. After nung long gown namin, um, naalala ko pa, after long gown namin, we were called na for the top 25 or top 24. And we did the, the casual interview. So it was super. Like, kinang sa bahin ako different type. Pero masaya ako kasi oh na sa gut ko yun tano. <laughs> yeah, I was able to express what I wanted to say and really um, be calm or sound confident. So yeah, for me, ito yun sa lagi ko ng nerve sa utak ko. And I'm thanking God kasi alam mo na tuto ako from my past experiences and now I'm able to enjoy the thing that I used I used to. I used to be scared yeah. of. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Really Ako nice. Fear, no? Oo. Oh, oh. oh, alam mo, sir, uh, alam mo, Marky, uh, hearing Rihanna right now, parang napaka-self-actualized niya na individual. Oh, ano? yes, yes. Na yes. parang, <laughs> Very um, much. Lak- nakakatuwa lang din na because of our theme na Beyond the Crown, lessons of, for beginnings and endings, you are one of the most perfect guests kasi ang dami mong baon na ano yung life experiences with your passion Agreed. journey. So, maraming salamat for sharing that. Agreed. Now, I'd like to segue now from someone who had done pageants many times in the past. Let's now move over to our next guest na first timer sa national pageant. And then luckily, she won one of the titles for Miss World Philippines. It's all welcome, Trisha Martinez. Hi, Trisha. Ayan. Hello po. At isa sa mga reyna natin ng Miss World Philippines. Trisha, first congratulations from the D-Crown family. Ayan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, D-Crown. Ayan. At ito ah, um, one trivia. Si Trisha ay matagal ko nang kakilala, guys. No? Siya ay isa sa mga models namin for one project in uh, one of my past work dati sa National Bookstore. Alam mo, binalita ko sa kanila. Tuwang-tuwa sila na nanalo ka ng Miss Tourism Philippines. So... Oh, oh, Alam um, mo ba, Sir Noy, up until now, ay, hindi naman up until now, siguro nung even after years nung shoot na yun, yung sa National Bookstore, nakikita ko pa rin yung, ano, yung tarpaulin, yung ginawa natin. <laughs> Dukat wala ko doon, pero naalala ko na, oh, parang uh, favorite project ko siya, yung National wow. Bookstore, ganyan, ganyan. Thank you, thank you so much. And you know, one thing that I remembered about you, alam mo, Mark, Marky and Rihanna, etong si Tresha, parang mahiyain ka before. I don't know if it's like really mahiyain ka talaga by nature, pero were you like that before? Na talagang mahiyain ka or talagang mahinhin ka by nature? Ano ba ang ano? Ano ba yung parang um, personality mo before doing this national pageant na Miss World Philippines? Maybe describe us to us a little bit. Up until now naman, Sir Noy, mahiyain pa rin ako, mahinhin pa rin ako. Parang oh, oh. ako nga binibigay ko na yung best ko. Sabi ko, eto na yun, parang mahinhin pa rin ba? Ganun, ganun. Malambing, <laughs> sweet girl pa rin ba ako? Parang kulang, ano pa bang kulang sa akin? Parang ganyan. Pero ayun, um, as time goes by, uh, nung Miss World journey ko nga, parang in-embrace ko na rin na parang, okay, uh, wala tayo magagawa, sweet girl talaga ako. Eh. This is me, so... Ayun yung ano ginawa yun yung ginawa naming strength nung team ko na parang okay sige sweet girl Trisha ganyan ganyan. Oh, so, oh and Correct. And parang kanina na share mo during the slam book um questions na one of your greatest achievements was not really just winning the crown but also conquering your fear. Ano ba yung mga fears na na conquer mo when you were uh, joining Miss World Philippines and after winning the crown? Maybe share to us a little bit. Ano yung mga fears na yun? Maraming fear, Sir Noy, eh. Parang, ang fear, alam mo yung mga maliliit lang na bagay na, hala, what if, what if mag-trip ako during, ano, during pasarela, ganyan, or, pero more than just those small things, yung mga fears na, paano pag magkamali ako, I'm afraid na I'm going to be judged by the people. And, yes, uh, nagkamali talaga ako during that night. I wasn't able to hear the question really well. So mm-hmm. I was really judged on social media but pero yun na conquer ko siya. Parang ngayon okay na ako. I have let go of that mistakes and 
na, 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 yun lang, sobrang naging proud din ako sa sarili ko na parang okay lang magkamali talaga. Parang mahirap talaga maging beauty queen. And if there's one uh, great lesson na natutunan ko, this Miss World Journey, sobrang mahirap maging beauty queen physically, mm. mentally, emotionally, financially. Uh-huh. At saka parang we cannot uh, just um, comment on a person by a single mistake. And Sorry. we cannot let we should not let ourselves be defined by a single mistake. Kasi ang daming bagay pa na madami, na, parang madami pang bagay na magaganda kang nagawa, na nag-perform ka naman. Yun lang, parang, yun lang, parang just let let it go and move on. Alam mo, ya. Yeah. Alam mo talagang, natutuwa ako, Marky and Diana, na kayong dalawa yung, si Diana and Trisha yung guests natin tonight. No? Napaka, napaka, inspirational and napakaganda ng mga sinishare ninyo na beyond the pageant experience sa lessons na natutunan ninyo. One one more thing that I'd like to ask, Tresha, kasi yung mga tao, again, you were t- talking about being judged, like people commenting on certain things that they do not know. What are some of the things that happened during the pageant of Miss World Philippines na hindi alam lahat ng mga tao na gusto mong i-share na eto, this is what really happens. That's with what, what really went down during the pageant na gusto mong i-share para ma-enlighten sila about your pageant journey. During the coronation night, parang we woke up very early talaga to do our final rehearsals. Mm. So, after that, so yung energy namin, parang nabubuhos na namin. And aside from that, parang syempre lahat kami kabado na, parang... Mm-hmm. Uh, nag-overthink na, ganyan. Uh-huh. Parang, uh-huh. pinaprepare na din namin yung mga sarili namin. So, parang yung energy namin, medyo nauubos na din siya towards mm. the coronation hours, ganyan, ganyan. So, parang ganyan, parang naghalo-halong ka ba na din, tapos pagod, tapos, um, ano pa ba? Yung backstage namin, sobrang lawak talaga. So, ay ako, uh-huh. ako, ano, ako, we, number 27 ako, so add number ako. Nandun ako sa kabilang side, tapos, kailangan ko siyang takbuhin talaga ng sobrang tatakbuhin ko siya ng nakahilis para makapag-beans ako. So, yung, oh mga, ano, yung, mga, yung mga even numbers, medyo swerte sila kasi malapit sila dun sa, <laughs> ano, so dun sa changing room, ganyan-ganyan. Uh-huh. Ganyan. Sabi ko, okay, tatakbo na naman ako ulit, ganyan-ganyan. <laughs> so, pagdating ko na, hihinga na lang ako, inhale na lang, tapos alabas na ako ulit ng stage na para oh mo na hindi ako hinihinga. Ay, grabe. <laughs> Pero, ano, sobrang nag-enjoy pa rin ako, yun lang, parang, hindi, kinabahan oh, oh. ako, pero in-enjoy ko lang talaga siya. Alam mo talaga, Sir Marky, no? ito yung mga oh, oh. malilate na bagay na hindi alam ng mga fans na nangyayari behind the scenes. Na, again, it's not really easy to like, comment on a pa- pageant girl's journey kapag hindi nila alam ko ano yung nangyayari behind the scenes. Correct. Tama ba? Okay, okay. okay. one last Grabe, stress, no? uh, oh, oh. One last Tresha before I move it, um, um, turn it over to Sir Marky. And siguro si Rihanna, meron pang isi-share na a little bit pa ito sa mga pageant experiences behind the scenes. Tresha, I'd like to ask one last. Ano yung nakita mong change in you before Miss World Philippines and now that you are officially Miss Tourism Philippines na you're super proud of and why? Yung change? Siguro, um, I'm st- I'm still the same pero yeah. mm-hmm. sobrang na, na realize ko if, if, uh, kahit naman nung nag-announce ako na official candidate ako ng Miss World Philippines sobrang naging proud sa akin yung mga kababayan ko yung mga pilenyos mm, sobrang proud talaga sila mm-hmm. tapos nung <laughs> di sabi ni Tito Dave Trisha Martinez hindi na baby <laughs> ayun sige hindi na ako baby Tito Dave <laughs> dalaga na ako Ayun, um, nung, yun nga, nung after winning ng Miss Tourism, sobrang mas na-realize ko pa lalo na ay, yung mga pilenyo, sobrang grabe sila mag-support talaga na i- parang from day one nandiyan sila. Yun yung na- na feel ko na change na kahit medyo hindi ako nakapag-perform well on Q&A, na feel ko na there are still gonna be people who will believe in me. Kahit anong mangyari. Hi, Mama Ru! Ayun. Hi, Mama Ru! Ayan! Mama Ru, miss you. Ayan, Ayun. There you go. Maraming salamat, Trisha. Sir Marky, siguro like uh, one last question. Before we um, have Rihanna in the loop once again, at wala naman si um, Marky, kakasabi ko lang, Marky. Siguro Rihanna, ayan, Mm-hmm. Um, Brianna, like ano lang, siguro to, 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 to synthesize yung mga shinier ninyo kanina ni, ni Tresha, no? Nakakatuwa lang isipin na 
ang dami nyo yung nasi-share na hindi alam ng mga tao. Ikaw naman, meron ka bang gustong i-share na experiences? Like, behind the scenes, hindi alam ng mga fans. Just to make them realize that this is how we really do pageants right. and these are the things that you need to understand. Uh-oh. Right. Um, well, I second what Trisha said. The whole day, during that day, and even two days prior, because we were called to Subic October 1, di ba? Halos, as in, araw-araw talaga, rehearsals, tapos, syempre kami, iniisip namin, yung araw lang to, kailangan natin makabisado yung steps. So, opening number, syempre, we want a great show. We want to give everybody a great show as well. So, mm-hmm. kami, kahit, Pagod and all. Actually, hindi mo na iisipin yun because you really want to, of course, perform really well. Um, but yeah, during that day, buong araw po kami, I think, mula 8 a.m., 9 a.m., simula na po kami hanggang before mag-start. Yeah. Na and I could feel my body literally parang namamanhid na all over. Oh my God. So, during our lunch break, I remember nung pinagpahinga na kami, okay girls, kain muna kayo, pahinga muna. Nandang ko po talaga yung pagod hanggang sa tip ng, ng fingers ko na I honestly haven't experienced that in the past before but maybe because yun nga, um, we only had three days to prepare and really have to give it our all na and gusto ako rin during rehearsals ini-imagine ko na kagad kung paano ko i-aura para masanin yung tatawan ko, ba Yeah, mm-hmm. um, aside from that mad- actually madami pero I feel like that's one of the main parang behind the scenes at talaga pong um, yeah, hindi madali. Hindi madali mag-beauty yeah. queen. And, like, yun. Um, we also go through so much. Not just physically. I mean, with the training. We also have to deal things emotionally, mentally. So, yeah. I feel like being kinder to everybody. Not just beauty queens, but to everybody on social media. is really very important. Yeah. Because we don't know what each and every one is going through. And what battles we are facing. Diba? So, Correct. there's nothing wrong. Or there... It, it wouldn't cost us if we just be more kinder. Be more kinder yeah. to each and every one. Correct. Ayan. Maraming salamat, Trisha and Rihanna, for your tidbits of life lessons. Tama ba? Um, we're gonna talk a little bit more about those things. Pero break muna tayo. Tama ba, Sir Eman? Dahil nga na-stress and napagod sila sa Miss World Philippines <laughs> a little bit. Although, they're queens already. Meron tayong oh, break time na game para sa kanila. Tama ba? Yes. Meron tayong break time na game para sa kanila. Pero bago ang lahat, patiin muna natin ang mga kasama natin na nandito with us tonight. Let's start with the, those who are on Facebook. Of course, uh, our pageant hub, um, Hi, host Michelle and Constantino is here. At nandito din, of course, si Mars France. Hello, Mars Hi, oh. Hi, Mars! Mars! Hi, Mars. Mars France is also watching <laughs> with us. At ang siyempre si Mama Ru nandito rin. Sabi oh, ni Mama Ru, gaganda, Mama Ru. I miss you both. Oh, oh, oh di ba? I miss you both. <laughs> sabi. Yeah, at nag-hello rin siya. Kanina. And of course, we'd like to greet everybody who's um, um on Kumu right now. Nagpapa-shout out si Nika Nika, Nika Ilay, Nika Ilay, Nina Casey, thank you so much. Um, and um, hello, hi Kia, thank you so much for being with us here on Kumu. And if everybody who's here on Kumu right now, and of course, speaking of Kumu, bago ang lahat, I'd like to thank everybody for um, watching us on Kumu and for putting us wow. on the top of the explore wow. page. We are second yeah. on the explore page That's right so now. Nice. So thank That's you, so thank nice. you so much uh, oh, to everybody. Congratulations! sa Kumu ngayon. So, Dahil thank yan you kay Rihanna you. and Trisha. No. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, and yeah, speaking of Kumu, and Angelica Gueco <laughs> Tejano. Yes. Uh, who's a newbie? Yes, we are shouting you out. So thank you very much. Ayan, pumunta na tayo doon sa ating break kasi... Kanina, Ay, you know, hindi naman stressful <laughs> pero medyo seryoso kasi yung oh, oh, um, pinag-usapan natin kanina. Ang dami nating natutunan doon sa ating mga queens kanina, doon sa kanilang chinair na pageant journey nila. Ako marami akong natutunan, you know, kahit na medyo backstage ako kanina. But now, it's time for us to have a fun game naman. Oo, medyo cute, kilig, fun game this time. Gusto ko to. na naman ako. ako sa title talaga. Natatawa ako sa title ng game na ito. Uh, <laughs> Para hindi pa Sino ba? Queen yung title ng game natin. Pero I'm sure game naman sila. Itong ating game ay tinatawag na tatakpan 
o titikman. <laughs> o, oh, diba? Ganyan tayo dito, roller coaster from very, very serious stuff to very, very fun stuff. Ayan. Ito yung tanong namin. May papakita kami sa inyo ng mga photos ng mga male celebrities. Oh. Kung ulam sila, kung ulam sila, let's have some fun, girls. Kung ulam sila, tatakpan nyo ba sila o titikman? Tama, tama. O nag-dinner. O, di ba? Tama, tama. Di ba? Yan ang maganda. Sakto. Ito na ang pampabusog natin. Ngayon, dito sa mga communicants natin na nandito ngayon, kayo din, sabihin nyo oh, rin kung tatakpan oh. o titikman sa mga Facebook uh, viewers at YouTube viewers natin. Sabihin nyo kung tatakpan o titikman nyo ba. Simulan na natin. Yan. Huh? Bawat isa kina Trisha at Triana ay pwedeng magbigay ng kanilang Opinion. And our first photo is huh? Alden Richards. Ayan. Si, ano muna? Si Trisha. Trisha, Alden Richards. Na, pag si Alden Richards ang ulam, tatakpan o titikman? Uh, kasi nag-dinner na ako eh. Kaya siguro tatakpan ko muna. Yeah. Ha? Tatakpan muna si ano. Si Alden. <laughs> Okay. Eh, ikaw naman, ano, um, tawag dito. Ikaw naman, Rihanna, pag si Alden Richards tatakpan o titikman. Sabihin ko pa lang sana. Trisha, ikaw na sumugod para sa ating dalawa. Pero <laughs> <laughs> for me, siguro tatakpan din muna. Oh, tatakpan muna natin. <laughs> Oo, ano muna tayo. Modest muna tayo sa umpisa. Oh, okay. Talagang oh, Pilipina. <laughs> talagang Pilipina. Actually, alam nyo, ang daming ano, pag may tinatanong namin na ano, parang, ano, fre- befriend or i-boyfriend. Ang dami nagsasabi na befriend. Ang na- 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 dami nagsasabi na takpan si Alden Richards. Kasi parang oh. very wholesome kasi siya. So, mm. yan, takpan natin. Tingnan naman natin kung wholesome yung next natin at uh, kung tatakpan ba o tatikman. Ang Ella, next natin ay... Natin yung kumunisensa, what your thoughts are. Oh, kumunisens. Oh, ito na tayo. Kay David Licao. <laughs> Alam niyo po si David Licao ko. Nahirapan po ako maghanap ng kanyang ng pic, ng pic, ng photo ni David Licao ko. Bakit? Kasi bawal po sa Kumu ang um, naka-shirtless. <laughs> Kaya si David, lahat po ng photo ng David puro po shirtless. So <laughs> And tanong ko sa inyo girls, unahin natin si Rihanna. If you know David Licao ko, he's a, he's a GMA7 actor. Um tatakpan o oh, itikman. At naging Rihanna? judge nila, oo. Oh, oh. Oo, oh, oh, naging judge din nila pala si David. Oo. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Kinakabahan talaga ako. Anong repercussions nito? <laughs> Wala. <laughs> uh, hindi naman matatanggal yung first princess title. Oo. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Trish! Uh, hindi pala. Go, Ate Riri. Kaya mo yan. <laughs> um, titikman? On the side? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oo, iba ibang chinito powers nung de- ni David Licao ko eh. Yan titikman. Ikaw naman kung ulam si David, uh, Trisha. Um, nakikita Ay, ko siya si ano, pa. nung coronation night nakikita ko siya naglalakad-lakad siya sa backstage. Oo. Ganyan. Tapos sabi nga nila si David Licao ko daw 'yon. In kasi ako mahilig sa chinito. Choosy! Ah. Choosy pa eh. Kaya, sorry, David. Tatakpan muna kita. Oh, <laughs> Tatakpan muna si David Licao. Si Mama Ro oh. na lang daw sumagot. Si Mama Ro. <laughs> sabi ni, ano, Pero, ni Sir Dave. Sir Dave. Si Dave, oo, oh, oh, sabi ni Sir Ro, Dave. Mama Ro, Mama Ro, pwedeng, si, kayo na lang daw po ang sumagot. Ayun ako, paano yun? Meron pa tayong tatlo. Una, yan, sumunod na, susunod na si Kit Thompson. Ayan. Ayan. Kapamilya actor naman itong si <coughs> Kit Thompson. Ayan. Si Kit Thompson ay ano, um, kapamilya's leading man and character actor. Ikaw, mm-hmm. Trisha, unahin na natin si Trisha. Tinakpan mo si, ano, si Alden at saka si David. Paano si um, Kit Thompson? Ayan. Kasi gusto ko yung mga ganyan. Yung may mga ano, yung may mga ganyan. Parang lakas mga lalaki. Matitikman ko si Kit Thompson. Ayan. Ay, ay, <laughs> ang sweet ka rin oh. pagkakasabi ni Trisha. Kaya no. nga. Oh, oh. Wow, si, si Mama Ru tatakpan daw niya. Oo, oh, oh, si Mama Ru tatakpan ko yan. Alam mo si Mama Ru, Mama Ru mag-guess ka nga ulit. Ikaw yung sa'yo. Oh, oh. True. Ang, si Mama Ru, oh, oh. Si Mama Ru. Arnold Mercado in tatakpan or titikman. Special. Yan, ganun lang. Uh-uh. 
Oh, diba? Really? Yan. Eh, 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 ikaw naman, ano, um, so, ikaw naman, Rihanna, ano naman ang oh, ano, masasabi mo kay Kit Thompson? Um, <laughs> 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 na <laughs> Well, I agree with Trish. Actually, parang ang ganda ng... Gwapo siya. <laughs> Yung sasabi ko, gwapo siya. Um, and parang feeling ko ang sama ko na kanina. Ano, <laughs> joke Parang nire-regret ng mangko pa rin siya. So, pwede ba? Hindi <laughs> ko rin alam eh. Pero pogi siya. <laughs> Yun na lang. Okay. Enough answer na yon Enough answer. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat. Ayan, pumunta naman tayo internationally. Ito may bagong movie to recently lang. Palabas sa mga sinihan. At ipapalabas din sa mga sinihan sa Pilipinas soon. Yan, mm-hmm. si Timothy Chalamet. Oh, Timothy Chalamet. Ayan, ng ah, pelikulang ah. June, di ba? Lumaki na siya, o. Oh. Yan, binata oh, na siya. Uh, binata na siya. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang, 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 parang ate na niya si Trisha, nila, niya, niya sila Trisha at ano, no? At Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Pero, sige, ang tanong natin kay Timothy, ayan, if he friend or ano, or more than that pa ang pwede kay, ano, kay Timothy. Unahin natin si Rihanna. Okay. Okay, dahil sabi natin... niya mas bata siya sa amin. Sabi ko, friend lang natin siya. Ayun natin yung mag-i-friend. Yeah, para yeah. mas okay yun. Yeah, yun yun, yun munang ibigay natin kay, ano, kay Rian at kay, ano, kay Trisha ngayon. If you friend or ibo boyfriend. Nabago yung title lang. Nabago yung title lang. Parang mas maano daw. <laughs> oh, di ba, no? Mas kaya ko. Oh, how about you, Trisha? If you friend or ibo boyfriend. Material. Friend material parang or ano, boyfriend. Parang ang sarap niya maging friend. Ganon. Friend. Parang friend. Yeah. Paano ma-achieve yung ganyan? Iba, no? Iba, eh, no? Iba. Born with it? Iba, iba yung objective ni Trisha. Parang oh, friend si Timos. Gusto niya ng ano. Gusto ko ma-achieve yung... Ano yung exercise <laughs> to achieve that? Oh. Punta na tayo sa ating last one. Yan. Ito na si Aquaman. Si Jason Momoa. Oh. If you friend or if you boyfriend material. Unahin natin si Trisha. Kasi nga, parang may, mahilig nga ako sa ano, yung may mga beard ganyan. Uh-huh. Tsaka parang, wala, parang ako, sige, titignan natin siya. Ayun. <laughs> parang nakakatunaw yung mga tingin niya. Yes, diba, so, titignan pa rin siya. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Rihanna, pinanindigan ni Trisha. Oo. Oh, yung oh. title <laughs> game. <laughs> Pero nakakatuwa pa rin. Kasi wholesome oh, pa rin. Parang oh, sweet, oh, sweet oh, pa rin. Titignan pa rin. Titong pagkakasabi ni Trisha eh. Oh, sweet. Eh, okay. ikaw, Rihanna. Hindi ko sinaya yun. Ako, siguro. Sorry, natatawa ko. Ah, niisip ko pala, ang laki ng katawan niya. So, natatakot ako. Baka, dahil ang liit ko. Pero, jujuwain pa rin natin siya. Jujuwain. Pero natin siya, jujuwain muna natin siya. Baga siya tikman. Ayun, there you go. Siya siya tikman ka agad daw. Oh, diba? Si Mama rin yeah. daw, titikman din daw niya. Oh. Si Jason Mamoa. Oo, oh, oh, yan. Sabi ni Mama Ru. Ayan, yan, yan, yan. Sabi ni Mama Ru. Yan. <laughs> Sabi ni uh, Ay nako talaga Mama Ru Next time ka, I-guess ka namin ulit Ha Ayan uh, uh, Sabi ni, ni Ni Sir Dave Trisha Talaga na talaga diba? Ayan po ang ating Mula sa titikman O tatakpan Na naging um, Ibo boyfriend Or if friend Na naging Jojo Wain O Totro Pahe Thank you very much Yan sa ating Yay Oh, okay. Grabe, ang bilis ng oras. Matatapos na tayo sa ating first part of the show. Oo oh, uh. nga. Ayan, pero bago tayo, ayan. Uh, before we end, yan, hindi ba, napag-usapan natin ng mga natutunan ninyo sa inyong endings and beginnings, you know, in pageantry and in life. Pero bago tayo, ano, matapos, ayan, babalik na naman tayo sa seryoso. Napaka roller coaster ride of emotions <laughs> ang episode natin ito, no? Ano yung ano masasabi niyo ano yung pwede niyo maiwan na payo sa ating mga netizens at sa ating mga thousands of communities na nanonood ngayon um, tungkol sa pagsisimula ng bagong chapter kapag merong yeah. natapos at merong nagsisi nagsisimula ano yung aral na pwede nilang bitbitin kapag mm. meron silang bagong sinisimulan sige wow. let's start with ano let's start with Rihanna wow 
Um, for me, grabe, ang ganda ng tanong. For me, siguro, having experienced those ex- those situations wherein I started joining, tapos hindi umabot, so I started joining again, hindi ulit umabot, you know, and then finally, somehow, di ba, finally, na reward din siya. But still, um, this is not the end, you know, I still have to, again, um, somehow see what, what's next for me. Uh, for me, what I've learned throughout those experiences is like what Trisha said, really have to trust the process. And I remember mm-hmm. sharing this in my social media as well. Na, minsan kasi pag nasa sitwasyon tayo, lalo na sa mga mahirap na sitwasyon, heartbreaking situations, we feel like it's the end of it. You know, we feel like, wala na, I'm, 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 Agud tayo, or we feel like we're worthless. We feel like we we start to doubt ourselves and doubt our capabilities. But looking back through my experiences or through my journey in the pageant scene, I've seen how those experiences were important, were relevant. They were necessary for me to be where I am today. So I feel like that's also something that we can um, somehow keep in mind that whatever that we are going through. It's necessary, or it's part of the journey, it's part of the process for us to be where we are, and we just really have to continue to, you know, improve ourselves, learn from those. If we have mistakes, don't don't be afraid to make mistakes, but learn from them and allow yourself to grow from it as well. Ako marami ako wow. mga hindi ko nakalang kaya kong gawin, katulad na lang magpagmimikap sa sarili ko, pag Q&A, mm. you know, mm-hmm. even may pasarela, I thought okay na ako sa pasarela ako noon, pero ang dami ko pang mas natutunan nung nag, nag-pageant ako. So, yeah, um, I feel like as long as we're here on earth or we're here in this world, and as long as there is life, kumbaga, growth and progress will be there. So don't be afraid to embrace your weaknesses embrace your vulnerabilities because that will make you stronger and more ready for what is ahead of you wow that is Dali. amazing thank you wow. very much thank you. learn from your mistakes allow yourself to learn from your mistakes so that you'll be you'll be ready for what's ahead of you thank you very mm-hmm. much rihanna yan isang magandang baon ba, mula kay rihanna ikaw naman trisha yan anong masasabi mo um tungkol sa mga aning maipapayo mo sa ating mga nanonood tungkol sa pagsisimula ng bagong chapter. Ayun. So, uh, let me share you a story. So, my personal story, um, joining Miss World Philippines wasn't really in my plan po talaga. Mm. As in, parang biglaan, my plan was to graduate uh, and finish Doctor of Dental Medicine, ganyan-ganyan. But, may pandemic, so parang bila ko lang naisipan, nasali kaya ako Miss World What if I tried ano joining? Parang what if um i pumunta mo na ako sa ibang path ng life ko? What if i try ko naman mo na parang sumegway mo na ako ng konte? Iyan lumiko mo na ako ng konte bago ako maging dentista. What if maging beauty queen mo na kaya ako? So ayun lang no pandemic. I think um hindi naman makakasama if we'll try another a new thing if we will just try wala na masama ko ito try mo eh kasi what if it's really for you diba True. just like what happened to me and to my team we were able to do this nandito na kami hindi lang ako kasama ko pa rin sila hanggang ngayon kung hindi <coughs> ko tinry kung hindi nila ako sinamahan dito sa journey na to edi eh wala lahat ng to diba hindi ko malalaman na pwede pala ako maging miss uh, tourism philippines diba so ayun lang at Never ever be afraid to try new things in life. That is true. Very good. Maraming maraming salamat for those wonderful nuggets of wisdom. Ayan. We wish we had uh, no no all the time with you. Yeah. And the next guest din natin. We wish we have all the time, all the the whole night to be talking with you because these are beautiful Correct. ladies with beautiful mm-hmm. hearts and minds. You know, but. And, yeah. and, yeah. So that is our time with Trisha and Rihanna. Yeah. Noe and Mark? Yes. Salamat, Trisha and Rihanna. Mm-hmm. We learned a lot from you and uh, uh, we will follow your journey and uh, we are here to support you. Maraming salamat for taking the time. Yes. Thank you so much, Dingo. Uh, uh, yes. Actually, before we give the floor again to the uh, to our two beautiful ladies, no, 
for their final word. Alam mo, particularly, Rihanna, sana marinig pa ng ibang maraming tao yung tukos sa fashion journey mo. No? Very inspirational ka. Lahat ng mga sinabi mo talaga sa amin. So, we, ako, personally, I hope na magkaroon ka ng opportunities to really talk about your passion journey kasi marami kami natutunan tonight. So, Rihanna, the best of luck sa'yo. And Trisha, abangan ka namin sa mga gagawin mo. Congratulations din pala sa pag-graduate ng Doctor of Dental Medicine, <laughs> di ba? Thank you. And we're going to really watch out for what's um next in your um uh, lined up activities, which is now the perfect opportunity. Um, ano ba ang mangyayari? What, where, they, where they can they follow you on the social media? And what are the activities ng Miss World Philippines? Rihanna, the floor is yours. Maybe invite our fans. All right. So, hello, everybody. To, uh, to everyone who's watching us in Kumu and Facebook, thank you so much, first of all, for watching, for tuning in. We appreciate your presence and your support. And I would like to invite you to please follow my personal account at Instagram, Rihanna Agatha, to follow my journey, to see what's new, what's happening. Um, but also kindly follow our official Instagram page, for Miss World Philippines, and that is at Miss World Bill for Instagram and Miss World Philippines Organization here at Facebook. So for sure po, magpo-post po sila doon ng mga ganap namin as queens, as sisters, you know, the whole journey all throughout our reign. So please do follow and like them. And yeah, for, yeah I just want to thank you also, Sir Noy, Sir Margie, Sir Eman. I had a great time. Hindi ko na malay na orang sila. Ang saya. Ang saya po ng segment natin. Kinabahan ako, tinawisan ko yung kinikin ko. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Yay. You're welcome and thank you. Of yeah. course, si Trisha naman. Trisha, our Miss Tourism Philippines. Um, the oh, floor first, is yours. Yeah. Thank you. First and for, foremost, thank you so much to the men of the crowd, Sir Marky, Sir Elman, Sir Noy. Thank you so much for inviting us here. Sobrang masaya. Parang ang lakas maka-showbiz ng mga eksena dito. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Di ba? Nakakaloka. And thank you so much sa mga viewers. Dito today, Mama Ru, sa lahat mm. ng mga common... Anong tawag doon? Komunizen. 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 Hello, mga komunizen sa mga viewers natin sa Facebook. Thank you so much for um, spending time na mas makilala nyo kami. And also, please do follow me on my Instagram. It's at Trisha Martinez underscore and on my Facebook page, Trisha Ofemio Martinez. And please stay tuned lang sa mga ganap namin ng mga Miss World Queens kasi I think uh, we as queens, we really want to continue our advocacies and do charity works pa together. So we will be co- collaborating pa. So ayun lang. Exciting lang. So malay-malay natin. Di ba yung mga communities nyo ma- mapuntahan namin? Ganyan. Wow. Natin. Yun. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Ayan. Grabe. Alam nyo, normally, we say goodbyes to our queens backstage after the show. But because we have a two-part show ngayon, mag- magbababay muna tayo. Uh, Rihanna uh, and Trisha. On we air. hope to see you back, uh, Rihanna and Trisha. You're always yes. welcome sa D-Crown. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Rihanna. Thank you for Bye. being with us. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Sina Rihanna Pangidian, our Miss World Philippines First Princess, and Trisha Martinez, our Miss Tourism Philippines. Woo! Galing. That was a beautiful, yeah, yeah. beautiful first half. Grabe. Wow. Thank you very much, Ayan. So, Siriana and Trisha can already leave the the stream yard. Yes. Thank you very much, Rihanna Thank you, and Trisha. girls. Yan. Gusto namin uling ano, uh, batiin ng lahat ng mga nito. May, may habul kanina si, si, si um, Hala Ella sa Kumu sabi niya, Bad or good ang mga naging experiences natin sa buhay. Importante is the present. Mm. Be a good person. Nakakatuwa, that was a nice no? nugget of wisdom. Oh, Thank you. Oh, mga... fans. Oh, oh. Correct. Meron sila. At yan, ha? And also, we're very happy because we're still on the top of the um, Explore Yay! page right now. Nakakatuwa uh, Thousands kayo. of viewers. Thank oh. you very much, Comunisense, for being with us. At hindi na natin patatagalin. Speaking of endings and beginnings, ayan. Mm, Speaking of endings mm. and beginnings, of course, our next very special guest knows a lot about oh my God. And, yes. and the things that we can learn from <clears throat> um, from these. Hindi ba? Noy! Ayan, would you like to introduce our next guest for Oh now. my alam God. Ma- no, and oh. Alam, mahal na mahal natin ito. Eh. Oo. Oh, oh. yes. This special guest talaga is super, super close uh, sa uh, puso namin sa D-Crown. And 
personally, we um, thought of this episode really because of her. It's really because of this special lady na mahal na mahal namin sa D-Crown. Actually, hindi pa D-Crown, Miss Earth Crown pa lang. Napamahal na sa amin itong napakagandang babae na ito. And now, she's going to share her story about endings and beginnings. Ladies and gentlemen, our Miss Glamour Philippines 2021, our loves, Gianna Margarita Lianes! Oh my God! And Bini! Oh my God! Hi guys! Thank you for having me again. I'm so excited to be with you guys virtually. Um, salamat na hindi pa kayo nagsasawa sa mukha ko. Oh, oh, no, I never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> but we are so glad that you are here with us, hindi ba? Yes. Ayan. Dahil nga tama si Noy, di ba? This, uh, this, this episode, um, the 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 main um main idea of this episode is based on your journey right oh, now. Oh, yes. di ba? Based on your journey right now. <laughs> Kaya we're going to talk about you know endings and beginnings. Ayan, ladies and gentlemen, it yan. Of course our very, very special guest, Miss Gianna Lianes. And we're going to talk about new beginnings with Gianna. Pero bago ang lahat ng yan, ayan, syempre, meron muna tayo. Speaking of beginnings, let's have our warm-up segment with Gianna. Alam natin, uh, later on, Gianna will talk more about what's, uh, what happened and what's about to happen. Uh, but right now, mag-warm-up muna tayo. And also, with our communities and our Facebook um, audience, um, let's warm up with the complete the sentence segment. Make more time. Yes, uh, we are going to we are going to um, flash and some we're going to flash some um dito, incomplete sentences at kailangan mo tong ikumpleto, okay? Kailangan mo ikumpleto ang sentences why. nito. Yan. At meron din tayong, <laughs> ano, meron din tayong surprise ang guest na nasa parang backstage ngayon. Parang hindi ka nila sanay. Mamaya, paakyatin natin to. Ayan. Parang hindi sanay? Sige, eto muna. Ang una nating, ang una nating <laughs> sentence ay ito. Diana, pageantry is like blank. Pageantry is like a roller coaster. I mean, I always say that in everything. Do I have to describe it or, or no? I just yes, it. yes, you can describe okay. it. I always say that, um, yes, I've tried so many different occupations, so many different things. But for me, pageantry is still the most difficult because it's a true test of character and self-worth. So that's why I would say pageantry is like a roller coaster. That is true. A true test of character and self-worth. That is amazing. Now, let's go to our next question. Gianna. Please complete the sentence. When you want something, you have to. Be patient for it. Um, I have a lot of difficulty with patience. <laughs> but um, I've been doing pageants for three years. And I know that if, you know, fulfilling one of my biggest dreams, which is to represent the Philippines on an international stage, I just had to be patient with it. There you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, patience, patience, patience. Diba? It pays to be very, very patient. Now, let's go to our next one. Please complete the sentence, Gianna. When you try and fail, blank. You can cry about it for a couple of days and then get over it. That is true. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. Ganun naman talaga, eh, no? Yes, yeah. yes. I and think now, I have time to say that... Um, you know, when when you go through something difficult, it's okay to be sad about it and to cry about it for a little bit, rather than just, um, you know, sweeping it away, sweeping it under true. the rug. That is true. That's true. And you know, instead of like you know having it pent up inside you, it's good yes. to address it. You yes. know, it's it's better that way. That's really really nice. Thank you very much. How about this one, Gianna? Complete the sentence. A woman of glamour is. A woman who is empowered. Um, and then the reason why I say that is because I always think that beauty is when someone walks into a room and commands such a presence. So that's why I would say someone who's empowered. That is true. That's true. Correct, correct. A woman of true glamour is a woman who is empowered. Diva. Thank you very much. Ayan. Noy, welcome back. Hello, Noy. 
Yes, Kasi glamour ka mo eh. Oh, oh, yeah. Diba? Very glamorous. <laughs> Unang segment pa lang natin yan. Hindi ba? Mm. Thank you very much. That was a really nice, a lot of nuggets of wisdom already. Only with our first segment. And also, um, hindi lang tayo ang nandito. We are also being joined by someone backstage. Oh, parang sino may, yan? May makikichika yan pa sa atin sino? ngayon. Oo. Oh, oh. Bakit may ganun? Ko, no? <laughs> hindi ko din alam. Pero, alika na. Let's uh, have him on board. Ladies and gentlemen, ayan, with us tonight, para siguro isend off din si Gianna, Mars Fran! Mars! <laughs> Mars! Ano? Mars! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Anong nagaganap? Nagahang ka ba, Mars friend? Oo. Oh, oh. Although, nakangiti siya. Ha? Maganda yung angulo niya dyan. Oh, maganda, oh. maganda yung face. <laughs> Hello, Hello Mars friend. Hello sa lahat po ng mga nandiyan. Hello. Ayan. Ayan. <laughs> Sige. Ayan, maya, maya. Ayan. Now, after our our an uh, our initial segment, Balikan muna natin yung journey ni Gianna through pageantry sa pamamagitan Uh-oh. ng ating segment na tinatawag nating photo vault. Noy, no, ano nga ba itong oh, wow. photo vault segment Oo, oh, oh. kasi since our theme tonight is about endings and beginnings, syempre we're gonna have like a throwback of her past pageant experiences, Gianna, para naman makristalize yung ating idea and storyline about <laughs> your endings and beginnings in the world of pageantry. Are you game for this? Medyo throwback ito, no, ng mga photos. I know! So, ready ka na. <laughs> Mag-ready ka ready na dyan. Ready ka na. Mahalata na yung age ko. <laughs> Hindi. Hindi naman yan. Uh-huh. Okay, let's begin, Eman, with our photo vault um, segment. Our first photo is... I know, si Mars. Okay. Asa na tayo? Okay, this is our first photo. Take a look. Aww. <laughs> yeah, so this photo was taken, of course, at the Carousel Mansion, and this was during our shoot with um, Pat X, Roxy, and Chain when we had that discussion for um, the different parts of Miss Philippines Earth 2021. So yeah, this was taken during one of the breaks. There you go, diba? This is a memorable photo, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, because uh, this is uh, this represents your journey um yes. some Miss Earth, Iban. Marky, do you have any um, or no, do you have any follow up on this Excuse one? Who's Marky? Yeah, yeah Marky, do you have it's any? A journey that, uh, from Miss Philippines Earth which has already ended. So I'd like to probably ask Gia, <coughs> G, what is the lesson that you've learned when you had the Miss Philippines Earth journey? And also, it was a very it was a successful journey because you had the title of Miss Philippines Water 2020. What's what lesson na uh, feeling mo is really important and natutunan mo na pwede mong dalhin sa itong incoming journey mo? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, um, I think the biggest lesson during my Miss Philippines Earth journey and during my reign is that confidence is truly key. And it's not faking it till you make it. You have to be truly confident to find success in everything that you do. So you guys already know that um, during Miss Philippines Earth, I felt there was a time that I did want to quit because hindi ako nuno notice na ibang tao. I, I was never in the hot picks. But when I was able to really <coughs> gather my confidence again and just um, focus on myself and my own self confidence, that's when. I was able to get a crown. And during my reign, I wasn't listening to any outer noises. I just did what I wanted to accomplish during the reign, and I was able to do that. There you go, right? That was great lesson to wow. be learned, di ba? Gusto ko yung sinabi ni, ano, ni, ni Gianna na, it's not about faking it till you make it. You really have to be truly, yeah. truly yourself. confident, di ba? Ayun. Now, let's go to our next photo. <coughs> ito naman. Ano oh, yung pageant yeah. journey ito? Neng, 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 Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> diba? Anong okay. year ito? Anong year? 2018! Oh my God, we're so nene here. <laughs> okay. So this was during Miss World Philippines 
2018. That was, this was during the press presentation and Miss World Philippines 2018 was my very first pageant ever. So I didn't even start from school pageant, city pageant. Sabak na got to national pageant. Didn't know what I was doing. Um, and after this pageant, I actually told myself, I'm never going to join pageants again. It's so difficult. <laughs> um, it's so difficult. You waste so much of your time. And here I am going into my fifth pageant. So I must have done something right during Miss World Philippines 2018 to want to keep doing it. Yeah. Actually, maganda tong ano, senior mo, Gianna, dahil senior mo nga first national pageant mo. No question, para lang sa mga taong nagwa-wonder, bakit nga ba ang isang pageant girl they keep on trying and joining pageants, kahit natatal sila from the um dun sa mga previous uh, pageant experiences nila. Ano ba yung, what, ano yung motivation? Ba't kayo sumasali ulit? Para lang maintindihan namin lahat, no? I mean, that's what we all ask ourselves. <laughs> Correct. Oh. That's a question we would like to, the answer to as well. But I guess... um. Well, first of all, the pageant experience, when you look back at it, is actually really fun because you get to meet so many girls, you learn so much about yourself, and you miss it when you're not doing pageants. And another reason why is with every pageant you do, you know that you are getting better, so you're getting closer and closer to the crown. So I think that's why, that's why I've been continuing to join, just because I've seen the self-improvement that I had, and I also feel like um, in every other aspect of my life, I can use that into a pageant. I can put that into a pageant. So 2018, Gianna was on her last year of university, and now I'm wow. working I'm by myself. Um, I'm, I'm more mature. I want to explore more. So I think pageants are a great way to, to show that, to showcase that. Mm. There you go. Yeah. Oo nga naman, right. diba? Nakakatuwa because, you know, uh, it's Gianna, the, I, I think also, Gianna, one of the reasons why you're still here and still strong is because in every pageant that you did in the past, you learn something and then you use that to build up on your experience and you become stronger and stronger and stronger. See, nung nakaraan, you already had a crown at Miss Philippines Earth, di ba? What more can you achieve with everything that you've learned, di ba? There you go. Bago ko ipakita yung next picture, papasukin natin ulit kasi kanina naglalayo yung internet na ba to? niya. <laughs> Totoo na siguro to. Mars France, let's do this. Mars! Wow. Ayan! Ano ba Mars? Ano ba? Alam mo naman dito tayo sa Philippines so yung connection is not that good. Yes! <laughs> Gina, naloka ka ba? Nandito ako, kiss. <laughs> Oh, di ba? Nandito ka! Naglagan ba to? Oh, yeah! Oo! Kaya namin din yes, Mars! Correct. Ayan. May, may, an, ikaw, Mars fans, dun sa mga nakaraang ano, um, kasi alam ko, na isa ka sa mga naka-witness ng journey ni Gianna sa oh, pageantry. Oo, naman. Diba? So, ano, yung, ano naman yung mati- nakikita mo? Kasi si Gianna, Bilang siya yung nangka-experience ng mga pageant, may baon siya na learning. Ikaw naman, ano yung baon mo na observation sa development ni Gianna as a queen and as a person? Um, actually, ito ah, parang ano nga ba to? Medyo FYI to sa lahat. Kasi noon, nung nag-join si Gianna ng Miss Philippines Earth, way back noong time nila nila Roxy, nagme-message talaga siya. Ito yung masasabi ko siguro na queen na nagre-reach out talaga sa mga vloggers, mm. especially True. sa mga people na alam within the industry. At nag- nagre-reach out talaga siya na may, may times pa yan na sinasabi niya noon, Mars, parang hindi hindi ata ako magiging winner or what not. Pero alam mo, uh talaga kay Gianna. Huwag mong isipin yon. Ang isipin mo is this is your journey and this is your story. So, at the end of the day, look, naging Miss um, Philippines Earth Water siya. So, yung, mm-hmm. Sabi niya, parang wala daw siya sa radar ng mga um, ano nga ba to, ng mga pageant lovers because syempre, hindi natin may pagkakaila na ang mga top list talaga, nakaka-affect talaga yan sa mentality ng mga pageant girl, which is mm-hmm. yun yun na before, nung hindi pa siya front runner. Yun yung turn niya eh. Hindi pa siya daw front runner. Hindi niya nakikita yung self niya. Pero siguro isa talaga ako sa nag-advocate na no, kailangan si Gianna na sa top talaga natin. Kaya pinapasok ko oh, talaga oh. siya 
crown pa ako na nasa front oh, Philippines. Oh, oh, oh. Kaso ko talaga siya kasi one way or another, this girl deserves a highlight when it comes to pageantry because she deserves it. Sobrang deserve niya na map, mapunta sa pe- pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit hindi? Bakit hindi? Diba? Ilagay si Jan sa pedestal. Oo, oh, diba? alam mo, in the, same manner, in the same manner, Mars France, even even kami noon sa Miss Earth Crown, we saw um, what Gianna didn't see. She wa- Gianna was also in our um, hot picks, radar. our final hot oh, picks oh, yeah. during Miss radar, Philippines. Uh, Diba? Because akala oh, siguro ni Gianna, you know, she was not in... Kinsan yun yung ano ng mga, ng mga pageant fans. Akala nila, of course, we are all pageant fans. Pero kasi iba yung when you observe the girl ng buong pageant. Yes. That's what we do, yes. diba? When Uh-oh. you observe the girls, we observe not just the beauty, photo shoot. Kaya ang gusto-gusto namin, in-interview yung mga girls, eh, kasi doon namin nakikita, oh Correct. my God, there's something yes. about Uh-oh, this. Oo, Mark, yan ako lang, ko lang din yan. yan. Yes. Uh-oh. Okay, may something kong girl na to. <laughs> oh, oh, follow po so, lang yun. Yeah. And then so, si Gianna. So, so she deserves it. Correct. And then Gianna, nalala mo yung nag-Miss Earth Crown kang interview. Parang doon namin na-realize, ah, magpipik tong babae na to. Diba? Just diba? wait till people hear her talk. And then I think oh, you were yeah. right, di ba, during the intelligence round. Doon ka naapunta sa mga hot picks ng mga tao, oh, ng mga pageant vloggers. Yes. So, it's all about picking at the right time as well. Kaya, that is ayan. true. There you oh, go. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you so much. Ayan. Pero alam nyo, ano, Mark? Pero alam nyo, ano, Mark? Napaluhain ka ngayong gabi. Oo. Oh, <laughs> oh. Para hindi ka hindi ako kumiya. Achieve natin yung tonight. <laughs> Pero alam mo, ano, Mars France, Marky, and Noy. Ayan. Bago itong um, bagong journey ni Gianna, meron munang, meron muna siyang um, journey. Itong nakaraan lang, kagaling oh, oh, lang niya ng Canada. Lang. Because, um, she joined, um, Miss World Canada. Yan ang ating next photo. Gianna, can you describe to us this experience and the learning that you got uh, from mm. this experience? Yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't think if you talked, if you spoke to me in 2018 after I did Miss World Philippines, I don't think I would have said that I would have participated in Miss World Canada. A lot of people right after that journey said, try mo sa Canada, baka doon ka manotice. Um, but after Miss Philippines Earth, that was the growth of the woman that I am today that I've been mentioning. Uh, so that's why I decided to take a risk. Uh, as soon as I got to Canada, especially when I was locked in the hotel, I was telling myself that this is a completely new environment. I was a in Philippine pageantry, but in Canadian pageantry, it's different. So we were locked in for a week. And I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I wasn't the most pleased with how how I fared. But after a couple of days of crying about it, I realized that I have to look in retrospect about the journey. Um, I learned a lot of things during Miss World Canada. I learned how to get my personality to shine more, how to be more genuine when I talk to other people, and to also be confident in my accomplishments, even if other people are doubting that. Mm. And that's one of, I guess, like that's one of the reasons why that's your theme for today is that when one door closes, an entire gate actually opens. So I have no regrets about joining Miss World Canada again. It was a huge learning experience. Um, I know my mom's watching right now. I'm really grateful to her and my dad because they actually flew to Canada to support me. Right. And mm. um, that shows as well that they believed in me as a beauty queen, so I should believe in myself. And I was able to interact with so many other girls there and hear their stories out. Other second generation immigrants, other girls who are trying to find their voice in pageantry. And I think that's that's the true crown, as cliche as it sounds. I was able to just meet so many people and learn so many things. There you go. Hindi ba? That's what's wonderful about Gianna eh? because, um, you know, in every pageant, whether or not um, she, she was able to achieve her ultimate goal, there's always some learning that she takes away from it, diba? Mars France, ano naman yung masasabi mo sa Miss World Canada journey ni, ni Gianna? Improvement, sa totoo lang. Kasi diba? syempre, nakita natin yung, yung performance ni Gianna, virtual. Virtual noong um, Miss um, Philippines Earth. 
pero dito mm. kasi sa World Canada nakita talaga natin yung 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 ano nga ba to yung performance niya talaga ibang iba yung performance ni Juliana nung virtual na Miss Philippines Earth dito sa Miss World Canada so parang masasabi ko ba nag-improve talaga si Juliana alam to ni Juliana pasarela wise nag-improve talaga si Juliana mm. sa pag- So, um, communication skills, wala naman tayong um, parang pwedeng debatihan dyan because Jayana, that is her ace talaga. Talaga yung, yung pinaka-alas niya talaga is yung com skills. Pero when it comes to pasarela, noong Miss Philippines Earth, medyo so-so. Pero nung nakita ko yung pasarela niya, most especially yung evening gown competition in Miss World Canada, boom, ibang Jayana yung nakita ko. Oh, diba? True. True tayo dyan. At yung mga ano at yung improvement na yan Mars France ang nag magpe-prepare sa kanya para sa kanyang bagong journey. Agreed. And speaking of bagong journey, ayan Noy and Marky, ayan. Alam ko meron kayong itatanong kay Gianna tungkol sa bago niyang journey as Miss Glamour Philippines. Diba? Yes. I-, I guess I can start with that. So now yes, Marky. That you have um undergone the Miss Philippines Earth journey eventually were successful there and then in Miss World Canada journey a total success <coughs> experience ano naman yung dadalhin mo as you go through an international pageant Woo-hoo! Miss Grammar <laughs> International <laughs> based on experience mo sa Miss Philippines Earth Miss World Canada what will you bring to the table differently and how would you highlight probably the things that you've learned now in the, in the Mexico for Miss Glamour International? Okay, well, ooh, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> during Miss World Canada, one of the things that I prided myself in is having the training from Philippine pageantry and mm. so much knowledge from our powerhouse <laughs> country. I think yun rin yung, that, that's one of the reasons why my journey in Miss World Canada is, is so memorable. Um, from the pas- Philippine pasarela, from the styling, from the photo shoot pasabogs, I told myself I'm really going to um, bring everything that I can that I learned from my trainers in the Philippines. So now going into an international pageant and being able to wear the Philippine sash, I'm going to bring all of that and so much more. And I think what I can add to that, what I can add to my preparations for Miss World Canada is really now the confidence. Um, I was talking to Ate Shaney last night and she said, how are you feeling? And I said, honestly, I just want to have fun with this pageant. Because I'm going to be honest with Miss World Canada. I was like, okay, I can't go back to the Philippines. So, oh, okay, Bean's panicking. I can't go back to the Philippines so well I'm crowned. But now going into this pageant, Probably it's going to be my last one. I'm telling myself that I just want to have fun with it and then yes. see what happens. Okay, Bean doesn't That's agree right. with that, but... <laughs> Ayaw daw niya, baka daw meron pa. <laughs> no problem, no problem. No problem. Wonderful, wonderful. But what I like about what Gianna said is really, itong journey na to, i-enjoy yun na lang niya. Actually, important yun, di ba? Kasi when you enjoy, you see yung lalo lumalabas yung personality ng girl at she gives them yes. the first time. When, when they enjoy. So that's what I like about what she said there. Really just enjoy the journey because once in a lifetime naman talaga yung for her to represent True. herself in the Philippines in an international pageant such as Miss Glamour International. That's good to hear. Correct. Noy, how about you? Yes. Alam mo, kaya rin, ano, parang it comes full circle. Kaya nga perfect talaga tong theme natin for tonight na talagang you're talking about your endings and then now your new beginnings. Gianna, on a scale of 1 to 10 ano ang ano mo emotions mo right now going into kasi i think you are going to fly to mexico kailan ba when are you going to fly to to mexico so i'm flying into la on monday oh my <laughs> god and on monday already ano ang emotions mo right now I got wow. out of quarantine yes. siguro I, i got out of quarantine on the 16th so I am um, super, honestly, stressed right now. I'm frazzled. Yes. I don't know what to do next. So many things are going on. That's why I'm in KF right now because I'm training for a national costume. Just came from a photo shoot, which is why I look like this. And there's like a party going on downstairs. So sorry for the noise. But I, I'm frazzled. I'm overwhelmed. But I'm also excited. I'm really wow. excited to just, to just, you know, again, represent the Philippines. Um, 
to be able to explore Mexico. Yes. And just perform too. I mean, this time around, I get to work with some uh, some Filipino designers that I've always loved. So I did post about it. My national costume is Louis Pangilina. My wow. wow. And this. You know, and I have so many other local designers who provided provided me with preliminary gowns, with OOTDs, with swimsuits. So that's really what's exciting me. And I feel like little things like that I'm able to experience because I am representing the Philippines. Yeah, that's amazing. It's amazing to know how the how hard also the team behind you is working. Yeah, ikaw naman Mars France. Ano naman ang ano? Pumunta na tayo sa Miss Glamour International Journey ni Gian. Ano naman ang tanong? or masasabi mo tungkol sa bagong journey ni Gianna? Ay, siguro yung question ko, natanong ko na dito sa kanya eh, nung personal. Pero yung question ko kasi sa kanya, um, first time, correct me if I'm wrong, first time na may ipapadalang um, candidate in yes. um, Miss Gilmore International. And mostly sa mga um, first time na nagpapadala tayo ng Philippine representative in a pageant such as this uh, Miss Glamour, mostly nananalo ang mga Pinay, such mm-hmm. as uh, yan, your friend um, si um, Faith Garcia also, also won yes, our yes. first Miss Aura International. Mars, question na, pressured ka ba to bring us our first Miss Glamour International crown? Honestly, I was pressured at first. Lalo na nakikita ko yung mga posts from all these pageant vlogs. And then just recently, they posted the schedule of my pageant um, alongside Miss Intercontinental, Miss Globe, Reina Hispano Americana, which are huge pageants. <laughs> um, so honestly, I was pressured at first. But you know, after talking to people like you guys, after talking to some of my family and my friends, um, I'm not really that pressured now. I just really want to enjoy the experience. Again, bring what I've learned from our powerhouse pageant country to a different setting. And it would be great to win the very first round for the Philippines because also I would love for Filipinos to get to know this pageant and its advocacy more. But I think that is secondary to my mindset. My primary mindset is just to have fun and then Siguro like 40 or 30% of it is to win the crown. I hope that's an okay mindset though. <laughs> oh, diba? I think it is. I believe it is an okay mindset, diba? So, congratulations dyan sa, sa mindset na yan. Diba? We wish Diana all excited. the best. Diba? We are very, very excited. Siyempre, um, ngayon, pabauna natin si Gianna ng, ano, ng, ng mga um, words of encouragement. Ayan, di ba? Anong, ano ang may, masasabi mo, may papabaon mo para kay Gianna sa journey na to, Marky? Ako, I already said this to Gianna, never ever doubt yourself. Uh, sa group chat, I told, told her that, never doubt yourself because the moment you doubt yourself, that's the time that everything will, will fall down. So but- never doubt yourself, never doubt your ability. You're a beautiful woman who can speak really well, okay, who represents, who can represent the Philippines with the best of your ability. So now, sinadmosal mo yung enjoy it. So please enjoy it. We're here to support you. We're at the way. Tell us what you need. And we're, we have your back. All right? There you go. Ayan. Ikaw naman, Noy. Ano yung maipapabaon mo kay Gianna sa journey mo? Maipapabaon ako. Alam na ni Gianna to. Actually, inaabangan nga namin ni Marky. Ano kayo yung mga story na i- ano, i- um, ibibigay ni Gianna, right? After the pageant. Doon ako excited. Our experiences, <laughs> di ba? So, yun lang siguro. Magba, um, kumuha lang ng maraming experiences and memories sa pageant journey na yan. And give your all na talaga. O, alam ko lang you're capable of giving your all. Kaya ibigay mo na lahat. Boost mo na lahat. Di ba? Nandito lang kami Ooh. sa tabi mo, sa likod mo, para i-cheer ka, cheer you on, and we're excited to see you with the crown on your head pagbalik mo sa Pilipinas. Iki-claim natin yan, Gianna. Yes. Ikaw naman, Mars France. Ano ang pabaon mo words of encouragement or wisdom para kay Gianna? Ayaw, ko baka maiyak kami dahil. Hoy, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hindi ka masasali si Gianna, ano ba? <laughs> hindi, kasi uh, Gianna is not just a, a pageant queen para sa akin eh. Naging family ko talaga si Gianna ever since. 
And um, alam ni Gianna yung relationship talaga namin is sobrang tight. So alam ko, alam ko yung lahat ng story ni Gianna. So yung yung akin lang is Mars, anjan ka na. Uh, the cliche man tong um, pakinggan, everything happens for a reason. There is a reason why you are there. There is a reason why you represent us in that competition. And I know that you can be inspiration to each and every one of us. So make this as your um ano nga ba to as an opportunity to touch lives not only Filipinos but Mexican as well and at the same time not just Mexican but all around the world touch their lives yan and syempre meron akong kasama dito si John Eldrian ah okay to my love life hello po hello John Oo, kayo na. Kayo na ang magkasama. Kayo na. <laughs> okay, okay. Bebe, okay, nasa ka okay. bebe. <laughs> sana all. Diba, Kaya sana ako. all. Pero, alam nyo, as, alam mo, Gian, aside from Marky, um, myself, Noy, and Mars Friends, meron pang mga gustong magbigay sa'yo ng message. Oh, Oo, yeah. kaya, panoon na ito. Let's watch this. Ate G, good luck on your next journey. We are extremely excited for you. I hope you believe in yourself just as much as we believe in you. I can't wait to see that crown on your head. And andito lang kami. I love you a thousand times. And see you soon. There you go. That was, of course, Roxy. Miss na miss na natin what... si Roxy. Oo, oh, oh, miss na rin natin yan. Anong masasabi mo kay Roxy, Gianna? Well, thank you so much to Roxy. Lagi ko nga sinasabi na inspiration ko rin siya when it comes to pageantry because during her pageant journey, so many people would doubt her. And syempre, she's my pageant bestie. So, um, alam ko rin lahat ng mga hardships niya and that's what I'm learning from as well. Um, her and Ate Shaney actually were the first ones to message me after Miss World Canada asking for updates. And until now, they've been guiding me. They've done more pageants than me so they've been guiding me throughout the whole journey and i'm so thankful for them and yeah miss ko na rin si roxy nang sobra so sana magkita kami as soon as i get home <laughs> oh oh siguro hindi na within the ano kasi you only have one day di ba tapos sa monday aalis ka na so oh oh ayun alam mo na mention mo si shane ayan si shane meron din siyang gustong sabihin sa iyo huh? oh, let's watch this to my glamorous and gorgeous queen of water, Gianna IG. Well, I'm here just to send you all the best for your upcoming competition. Alam mo naman, I always believed in your heart, in your capability. Sayo, as in kabuuan, I really believe that you deserve to win a crown. And you've been wearing that ever since, since day one, since the day I've met you. I really admire you for being such a hard working person, very dedicated, so passionate. Grabe, paano magkaroon ng ganun? And very smart. That's what I love about you. Because I've been learning a lot of things from you. You know, what can I wish from you? I've always been telling you every day how beautiful you are. And I'm trying my best then to message you and feel you good about this journey. Even though in the past few days you felt like you're not in your 100%. But gusto ko lang din sabihin sa iyo that everything that's happening is for a reason and you're just the only one who can answer those questions that you have in your mind and dinala ka sa posisyon ng sa sitwasyon na ito because something is await awaits for you there's something good about to happen and i feel good about this journey of you kaya sana ituloy-tuloy mo lang you just enjoy everything. You're already a competitive human being. I've told that to you. And I just really am amazed of how persistent you are. And imagine not everyone will be given an opportunity to, to shout Philippines in an international stage. So I hope to parin mo ang mga pangarap namin. Ikaw nang tumupad muna sa ngayon. I wish you all the best, G. I know that you will kill the stage with your catwalk, with your runway, with your pasarela, and of your personality and your story. Thank you so much for the friendship. I wish you all the best. I'm gonna see you very soon. I'm gonna be seeing you with a crown on your head. I love you so much and I miss you, G.
There you go. Oh, di ba? Ngayon pa nag-hang si Rihanna. <laughs> Oo nga. Yan nag-hang ang ano. Ang, si ano. Oo, ang internet ni ano. Oo, ulitin natin yan <laughs> para kay Gianna. Oh, Ayan, oh, sige. G- kapit lang. <laughs> Oo, kapit lang. Pero habang ano, hinihintay natin si Gianna na makabalik. Sige, anyone. Yan, anyone. Ano nga... Ano yung masasabi niyo? Sabi ni 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 Shane, she feels good about this journey. Oh, ano? Oh, 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 nga, ano sa tingin niyo yung mga factors na pwede talaga nating masabi na oh, we feel good about this journey. Mars France. Ano um, ba yung alam mo sa Gra- Miss Glamour International na parang ay si Gianna perfect fit for this talaga. Kasi parang yung yung yung, yung nakikita ko kasi na hindi uh, sa ano ah. First kasi nila inaugural. So, uh-huh. um, kailangan nila ng spokesperson to represent yes. Which is fit si Gianna doon. Because Gianna can sell herself. Not only herself, but the organization itself. And syempre, if you are new, parang if you are in, in, in inaugural na competition, need talaga nilang magpakilala. And hindi naman natin maipagkakaila that the Filipino fans is crazy when it comes to um, promoting pageant. And if kailangan talaga nila ng ganitong um, ano nga ba ito, ng ganitong strategy, Uh-oh. might as well give might the well. crown Oh, oh. Diba? Ayaw ko lang magsabi, pero ganun na yun. Diba, ganun na yun. Plus the fact that Gianna talaga is such a, a spokesperson Perfect. and yes. would be a Uh-oh. good ambassad- ambassador for Uh, Miss Glamour International. Pero ayan, nagbabalik si Gianna. Gianna, ano yeah, sorry masasabi for the technical difficulty. No problem. It's okay. Anong masasabi mo sa message para sa iyo ni Shane? Shane, oo. Well, video message lang. Plakada pa rin siya. No. Diba, no? But I was so okay. thankful. <laughs> I, was about to say, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm so thankful for Ate Shaney because, of course, I've always looked up to her. Um, even during her binibining days, I always was watching her. I thought she was so beautiful. She was so confident. So the fact that she's such a huge part of my life now, she's not just like a sister to me. She's like a mentor as well. And if there's anybody who knows about, you know, um, failing then getting back up again, it's really her. So I always look to her for motivation. Uh, when I doubt myself, I talk to her, I ask her questions. She's been a huge help. Yeah. That's amazing. Ayun. Ngayon, you've heard um, messages from um, your, your, your supporters mula sa iyong uh, mga friends dito sa pageant industry. And of course, from um, Roxy and um, Shane. Ito naman, what would be your message to yourself going ah. into this? Wow. I think that one of the biggest things that I've learned in pageants in general is to let go of the things that I cannot control and only focus That's a very on good one. I control. So, again, I, I, as I mentioned earlier, I learned that pageants are true tests of character and self-worth. And now that I'm carrying... the Philippine flag with me that I am representing our country, I know that it's going to be an even bigger test of character and self-worth because I know that I'm representing my beloved as well. So I think that's what I'm going to carry with me throughout the pageant journey. I couldn't listen to naysayers, the people who are doubting me, or even to my own thoughts that are are trying to bring me down. Uh, I have to I'm already thinking that this is probably going to be my last pageant. If ever I do get the crown, it's going to be my graduation from pageantry. So I'm telling myself to make it worth it this time. So again, enjoy it. And just focus on the things that I can control. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go. Yes. Oh, oh, grabe. Beautiful, beautiful. Alam mo, um, tonight we not only... We are not only sending you off, you know, and and, and uh, giving you this episode, but we're also learning a lot from you. Yeah. Diba? Sabi nga natin, le- lessons that you can learn from pageantry transcends um, into real life. And uh, we, we, we're learning so much from you. Diba? Anong, yeah. 
Ano pang pa masasabi nyo dito, Noy? Well, actually, ano lang, para lang to end on a high note, no? Gianna, since ikaw sinasabi mo na you're raising the Philippine flag come Monday, pwede ba kami makakuha ng isang sample lang? For example, introduction mo na. Yes. Going into the pageant. Para naman you get into the, ano, yes. the vibe of representing the Philippines. Para naman introduce ang yung sarili with the Um, saying Philippines at the end. Sige nga, paano? Pasample. <laughs> I think I haven't even practiced that yet. <laughs> Sige, game, paano? <laughs> My name is Gianna Lianis and I am your Miss Glamour Philippines. Yeah! Yeah! There you go, Love there it. you go. My God, yes. Kinilbutan ako dun, ha? Very good. Thank you so much, Diana, for that. And of course, thank you so much for being with us um, here. Before you leave for Mexico, I know that we know that the journey is going to be long. You know, physically, because the flight is going to be long and you're going to yes. go to Mexico. And then this is going to be another um, few weeks for you, you know, journeying into this. But we wish you all the best. Of course. Ano naman ang ninyo? Ikaw naman, Marky. Marky, are you there? Uh, Igalo mo ang baso, Marky. Sorry, nag-choppy. What was the last statement? <laughs> Ayan, ikaw na. Last, final message. Final message. Ayun. Final message. Gianna, babaunan ka namin ng pagmamahal. Always remember uh, that we love uh, you. So when you go and start that journey, remember your people that loves you and supports you. And that's us. Yes. yes. There you go. Ikaw naman, Mars France. Naiyak ka na ba, Mars? <laughs> two words two words lang masasabi ko claim it yes that... claim it love it claim it I love it and yes we claim that this is going to be for her ayan maraming maraming salamat Gianna um, for for being with us despite your busy schedule right now I know we know that you are preparing but of course thank you very much for gracing our um, screens Yet again, di ba, yes. syempre. At huwag kang mag-alala, hindi, hindi kami magsasawa to oh, have you here as long as as long as long it's okay with you as well. Hindi ba? At uh, hindi rin po kami magsasawa, ladies and gentlemen, to give you um, um, quality pageant content every week um, here on D-Crown and also on Miss Earth Crown. So maraming maraming salamat. And we would also like to thank um, the those who helped us make this um, episode possible, of course. Um, Nonoy, on your end, sino ba ang papasalamatan mo? Of course, Tito Dave Ocampo first um, for our first part um, for um, our guests, Trisha Martinez and Rihanna Pangindian from Miss World Philippines. And of course, hi na rin kami sa mga K-familia natin dyan, Gianna, Tito Rogers. Yes, hi K-familia! Thank you po dyan sa inyo for letting Gianna um, into our um, interview right now. Alam ko, nagtitraining kayo, puspusan dyan. Pero maraming salamat for this um, pasingit. And thank you sa mga communities once again. For making yes. us in the recommended um, um, Thank you. shows, to our yes, we have more than 2,000 viewers tuning 2, in right viewers. now Hello. on Kumu Social TV. Um, yeah, Mars France, of course, maraming salamat Thank for you, being Mars. with us. Ngayon, yan, ayan, maraming maraming salamat for being with us. And of course, Gianna, is there anybody or any people you'd like to thank? Well, I want to thank you guys, of course, not <laughs> just for having me, but also for being such a huge part of all of my pageant endeavors. Thank you for believing in me. Um, of course, the people who are watching don't know this, but you guys were some of the first people that I called after mis my experience yeah. with Miss World Canada and when I was offered to represent the Philippines for Miss Glamour International. Kayo talaga yung tinanong ko for advice, if it's a good idea, and You guys have always believed in me, so that is a huge help um, for someone like me who started pageantry kind of late at 23 and, and still not completely versed in the pageant world. The fact that I have, you know, pageant fanatics, bloggers like you guys who are supporting me and believe in me is really a huge deal and a huge boost of confidence. So thank you, thank you very much for having me today and for always believing in me. Of course, thank you so much mm -hmm. also, Gianna. And Thank you very much to uh, to our viewers on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Kumu. Ayan. Thank you as well din daw, sabi ni, um, ng, ng username na si Asian Cutie. O, di ba Asian Cutie? Hi, Asian Cutie. And of Cutie. course, Jake Boy. 
And of course, good evening to everybody. Maraming maraming salamat po. That is all the time that we have right now. Yeah, and especially, yeah, and very strict ang time ni Kumu Social TV. But of course, please stay tuned because next week we are going to have another episode for you. That is going to be our Kumu Social TV season finale. Halloween special. Oh, oh, it's our Halloween special. Yay! Yung kalilimutan yun. Maraming, maraming salamat. Thank you very much for being with us. Yes, we thank you so much. Naku, sana all magkasama. And thank you so much for being with us right now. Bago pa po ako mamatay sa ingget, yan. yan uh, we're going to end our episode already. Thank you, Gianna. And once again, our Miss Glamour Philippines, Gianna Liade. And this has been D Crown on Kumu Social TV, Facebook, and YouTube. Have the have a good rest of your Saturday evening. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, Mars. Love you. Thank you, Kumu Social TV. Sumasyo pa rin tayo,